Time now to explore the heart and soul of Cumberland County, downtown Burksville. From restaurants to shopping to home goods, there's a little bit of something for everyone right here on the square. I'm with Liza Tucker. She is the owner of Tucker Mercantile, which is where we are right now. Love the store, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. There's so much changing and happening here along the square, and that's by design. You guys are working hard to attract more business. We are. Um, my husband and I and Jamie, we opened this last July, and we are two of many people who I think are part of this interest in community revitalization and uh, just bringing new life to our downtown I grew up here, I've always loved this town, and I'm proud to be a store owner and raising my family here. Um, so it's not as though we saw all these things that were wrong, it's just how can we enhance what's already here? And so we are a small part of that. We have wonderful folks beside us uh, all around downtown actually that are um, just breathing new light and life into the downtown area. So we're very proud to be a part. So go ahead and tell me a little bit about Tucker Mercantile. What do you have here? We'd like to say we have something for everybody. Uh, we're certainly an eclectic shop. And when my husband and I opened it last year, our goal was to give local crafters, local artists, a place to house their products. My husband is certainly a jack of all trades and very handy, myself not so much, but we have an appreciation for local art and local products. Our original goal was to primarily just facilitate the sale of local artwork. Mm -hmm. And since it has kind of morphed into different things, we have a wonderful partner, Frida Crawford, who also has some of her products in the shop. She is a, a Cumberland County resident, and um, we're very proud to be working alongside her and Stacy Cooper, another local artist who has some stuff in here. So it is kind of a team effort, but the goal is to showcase local people, local artwork, local crafts right here in the heart of Burksville. So you don't have to walk far to have a great shopping destination next door and then a great restaurant on the other side. Absolutely. What more could you need, right? Absolutely. Uh, we are so proud to be next door to Mike and Melissa Cody, who own the Country Peddler. Uh, they've owned that, I think, for a couple of years and all kinds of neat boutique clothes and household items, they do custom embroidery, and they are a key component of the Revitalized Downtown Initiative, which my husband and I are also a part of. And so, um, fantastic neighbors there. We have a great cafe, as you mentioned, Annie Ruby's Cafe, and really along Main Street throughout downtown, so many locally owned shops that, again, makes me proud to be from here and proud to be part of the business community. The new one, Sounds Good. That's one of our family's favorites. <laughs> so yeah, Elijah's done a fantastic job with Sounds Good. Such a neat atmosphere. And again, anytime you take a building that was an abandoned building and you bring new life to that, I just appreciate that so much. I mean, being from this town and just wanting to see good things throughout the community. It's always just encouraging and inspiring when you see someone take a chance on a building like that mm -hmm. and turn it into something like he has. And there's a lot of new builds too. So you just visited the distillery mm -hmm. down one side of the road and what up the other side of the road is a winery. Yes. Yeah, we have Up the Creek Winery and Southern Kentucky Distillery two uh, wonderful assets to our business community. I've been on the farm of Up the Creek Winery. It's beautiful. And then my husband and I just went to Southern Kentucky Distillery for a tour a couple of weeks ago. So impressed. And again, just I love that people are taking chances on our small town and using, um, you know, that investment potential that's going to benefit the entire community. Mm -hmm. I'm just uh, very proud. Just off the square, I mean, we got to brag about the industrial park too, right? The growth there. There's the, beyond this local small business, that bigger business is coming here. Absolutely, I think it's 96 acres, prime for development. It's within city limits from the town center here at the courthouse in Tucker Mercantile to that within five minutes. Uh, so it's a great location. Um, I'm, I'm hoping other businesses will see that potential and just continue to expand our growth here in the Cumberland County. So if people are on the lake, venture on down to the square, grab some lunch, do a little shopping. There's there's so much here. Absolutely. That was, uh, again, part of the Revitalized Downtown Initiative. One of our goals was to uh, really capitalize on all the traffic we have through Cumberland County. And don't get me wrong, I love Del Hollow Lake. I love the Cumberland River. I can see where people travel hours and hours to get there. But it's a rainy day or, you know, you've been on the lake for four days. Yeah. Something to do. There's plenty of things downtown. So we wanted to be a destination, not just the lake, the river, but downtown Burksville, the businesses here, the, um, the, just the community spirit that's part of these local businesses. We feel like that's worth the travel time as well. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. we want to work hand in hand with those tourist locations um, and just make sure that, you know, everyone traveling there say, hey, let's go here too. 
something for everyone. Absolutely. So if you want to make Cumberland County and Burkesville your next destination, whether uh, for fun or maybe for business, just go to exploreCumberlandCounty.com. Bourbon fans will have even more reason to visit Cumberland County with the opening of Southern Kentucky Distillery right here in Burksville. I'm with the owner, Junior Cecil, who's been showing us all around, right? Like, yes. what a dream you're living. Yes, thank you, you very know, much. You know, how did you, what's the story here? I feel like every distillery has a story. You'd be the first right here. So we are the first people to make legal liquor in Cumberland County since Prohibition. Uh, would be fair, I guess, be a fair statement. I'm a moonshine guy by trade. I like moonshine, and uh, my brother-in-law, uh, ER doctor, who's never drank alcohol in his whole life, oh. but he said that he would be interested, and he seen that the people enjoyed it, so we decided to do it, and we thought it would be fun to make a make a legal run. And so, so far, it's been great, and uh, we have a third partner, a friend of mine, I graduated high school with. His name's Kevin Daly, mm -hmm. and. It's just been fun so far. And so you, you have bourbon, and what all do you have We're going to have bourbon. bourbon. We're going to have our first sweet bourbon. is called Broadhead Bourbon. It's 21% wheat. We're, we're excited about it. We're making it right now. We have an Ancient Sun Vodka. That's going to be 80 proof vodka. Hopefully people at the lake and the ocean will love it. And we have a moonshine, Slate Fork Moonshine. Mm -hmm. Why moonshine? Moonshine has just been something. I love flavored moonshine, uh -huh. and I've played with it for a long time. And at my kitchen and so it's just something we decided to do and it's turned out really we have six flavors we flavored with a, a company out of Louisville and mm -hmm. helped us get our flavors and so it's been great and we're super excited about it. You know you think moonshine deep roots in Kentucky why not make it a part of, yeah, of what so, the distillery experience is going to so, be like. Yes and so families usually families that have moonshine backgrounds have family backgrounds and distilled spirits mm -hmm. and so yeah we just we enjoy it in our family. And so you're kind of gearing up for opening right now. What is actually open and, and running? So right now we're making barrels of bourbon, mm -hmm. uh, barrels of bourbon for investment. That's the important plug. stuff. You got to get you that out. You have to have it. You have to have it if you're going to survive the four years. So yeah. we hope our moonshine and vodka can come along for the first four years, and of course continue to do so, but then have uh, bourbon as well. And then what is the next step to open? Well, the next step to open is we're just getting. We have our labels and everything being designed, and the the TTB has approved everything. And so now we're just waiting on labels to be designed. We think within two months that we should mm -hmm. be able to have enough, uh, be able to open. We don't want to open until we have our own product to yeah. sell. And then once you open, will you be able to take tours and yes. do tastings? We'll do tastings here, do tours. We hope to do some concerts here. We've got a venue, we've got a barn. Now we're going to call our venue barn. And so if we, ha hopefully we'll have some stuff with maybe weddings or uh, we have done some class reunions here. So class reunions, weddings or whatnot, maybe family reunions on the property. When people visit here and they do a tour, or they have a special event, or listen to a concert, or taste your bourbon, your moonshine, your vodka, what do you hope that they leave feeling and, and knowing about their experience here? Just that it's just good old country folks having a good time, uh, trying to trying to do some good stuff in the community. Burksville, Kentucky is a great place. Uh, if you've never been to Burksville and Cumberland County, you should for sure visit. I'm not originally from Burksville, and so they've taken me and treated me like one of their own, and yeah. it's, it feels good. It feels real good. All right, so we can follow you on Facebook, right? Yep, Is that the best on place? Facebook. We have a web page coming. It yeah. should be up in, in pretty soon. So. All right, so it's coming soon. So mm -hmm. you can go online and book that event very soon or, or stop by for a visit for a tour or a tasting. Just follow them on Facebook at Southern Kentucky Distillery. Get ready for the ultimate celebration of music, water, and community spirit. What you can expect at this year's River Festivus. Hometown Proud Cumberland County on Great Day Live is sponsored by Explore Cumberland County.